Hello everybody and welcome back to my Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy Let's Play. Let's continue, shall we? Find some candles in one of the cupboards. Take them and place them in the candle holders. There should be some matches in the kitchen. Go find them and light the candles. So it is very annoying that you have to do each one of these individually rather than all in one go. Perfect. We're almost ready to begin. Turn off the light, close the curtains, and sit down next to me. The only way to understand what has happened to you is to try to go deep into your unconscious memory. Whoever it was that forced you to commit this murder has erased himself from your memory. But there still must be a trace in your unconscious. I can help you to locate it. It's an exhausting ceremony, and there's always a risk involved. Do you, or do you not wish to try it? Yes, I do. Give me your hands. Now, close your eyes. I want you to empty your mind and open wide the doors to your unconscious. And let me enter there. That's it. We're still together. Lucas, are you there? Yes. I want you to return to the restaurant, just before the events began. Evacuate all extraneous thoughts, 
and wander freely through your memory. Where are you, Lucas? I'm standing outside the restaurant. I want you to enter the restaurant now. I've gone into the restaurant. What do you see? I see some customers. And I see the waitress. Can you see the table where you were sitting? I'm looking. There's a police officer. He's sitting at the counter. Concentrate, Lucas. Now, walk to your table. Next to my table, but it's empty. You haven't arrived and sat down there yet? Yes, I have. My meal is already on the table. I, I think this is when I murdered him. I... Stay calm, Lucas. I want you to tell me exactly where you are. I'm... I'm in the restroom. And so is the other man. What's he doing? He's urinating. He doesn't suspect anything. And you, Lucas? Where are you? I don't know. I can't see myself. There I am. I was in a toilet stall. Oh my god. I'm holding a knife. He doesn't see me. Calm yourself, Lucas. Keep your concentration. I... I can't control my steps. I'm walking up behind the man. He doesn't see me. I don't want to. I don't want to, but I can't stop myself. I want you to re-enter the restaurant. But now, it is prior to going into the toilet stall. Do you understand, Lucas? Before. Where are you now? I'm in the restaurant dining room again. Are you sitting at your table? Yes, I am. I can see myself. What are you doing, Lucas? I'm eating. I'm eating and reading a book. A book? Yes. Shakespeare. The Tempest. What else do you see? As I told thee before, I am subject to a tyrant. A sorcerer, that by his cunning hath cheated me of the island. What did you say? It's a passage from Shakespeare's Tempest. That's what you're reading, is it not? Yes. Someone's coming toward me. A man. Who is it? A customer? I don't know. I think so. I can't see his face. And what does he say to you? I... I, I don't know. I, I can't remember. You must concentrate, Lucas. You need to remember. It's one of my favorite books. A shame so few people read Shakespeare these days. Would you mind if I sat down for a moment? Ah, it's just that... The man sat down at my table and... Now the waitress is coming. Sir? A coffee, please. The waitress. It's as if she didn't see the man, like he was invisible. So much has been written about the Tempest, especially concerning the theme of magic. And now... What's happening, Lucas? I, I don't know. The man gives off a very strange energy. It's hard to describe. Go on, Lucas. What happens after that? Do you believe in the 
the power of magic. No, I don't. Listen, um... You're wrong. You know there's much more to our universe than can be perceived by the naked eye. Your coffee, sir. Thanks, Kate. The waitress has brought him his coffee, but she's talking to me as if I was the one who ordered it. She doesn't know that he's there. She can't see him. And now, what's happening? Listen, I don't want to be rude, but I'd rather eat alone. Master Noctilan, Kathanekli, Kortniklan, Arniklan, I'm paralyzed. I can't feel my body. I can't move. The man, Lucas. Where is the man? He stood up. He's gone out. He's in my head now. He controls me. Follow the man, Lucas. Hurry. I command you to follow that man closely. He's going out the rear door. Follow him. Your mind and his are now linked. You can see what he sees. You know who that man was, don't you, Agatha? No. I don't know. I'm not sure who he is. Yes, you do know who he is. You understood it all as soon as you felt the scars on my arms. What do these symbols mean, Agatha? Tell me what that man's done to me! You should go now, Lucas. There's nothing more that I can do for you. You could at least explain what the hell's happening to me! He made me kill a man! I want to know! I need to know! I have to verify certain things. There's nothing more I can tell you today. Come back tomorrow night at the same time. I'll explain more then. Time to play some basketball in the snow, I guess. I'd worked good and hard on the investigation, done everything Carla had asked. Now I just wanted to relax and play some b-ball. And also settle a little score I had with Jeffrey. Yo, nice threads, Jeffrey. Very stylish, my man. You got me totally psyched out in that shit. Right. Okay, here's the rules. First to score 10 points wins the game and $200. That cool for you? You can kiss your money goodbye. We'll see. Let's do it. I messed up.
speed, technique, killer ball handling. Watch and learn, bro. The more I see you play, Jeffrey, the more I think you should take up chess. Yes! Now that was pure poetry in motion. I am doing terrible today. Although Jeffrey hasn't scored a single point, so... I guess not too terrible, but still, could do better. Yep. Uh, and I go and jinx myself as he just scored. Damn it! He hits the lane, he drives in, he scores! Ladies and gentlemen, that's our play of the day! Yo, you D up pretty good for a white cop. You ain't so bad yourself. You got some game. Maybe I should have mentioned, I did some ball at college. So, as for the hundred, it's game over, man. You're a real SOB, Tyler. I know. And that's why you like me, Jeffrey. Training Sergeant Mitchell? That's him, in the second to last row. Sergeant Mitchell? Yes? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions concerning one of my investigations? Young lady, I haven't worked in investigations for a long time. I doubt I can be much help. It's concerning an old case, but I'm still looking into it. The Kirsten case? Because you can't locate the file, is that right? Yes, that's right. The file's been classified. How'd you like to do some target practice with me? Sure. Why not? Your gun is right in front of you. Go ahead. Uh, 
R1 to shoot, R2 to reload. Okay, different, but okay, got it. The way you shoot, you really should come back for some more training. Yeah, that was terrible. So, what do you want I to know it. about the Kirsten case? Well, for instance, what exactly happened? Guy named Kirsten's calmly shopping in his local supermarket. He's in the kitchen accessories aisle when someone picks up a knife and stabs him to death. Did he know his victim? No, at least the investigation never found a connection. Apparently it was some. Uh, temporary insanity. Was the killer apprehended? He didn't move from the spot. We found him sitting on the floor next to the victim like he was waiting for us with this blank stare on his face. Maybe he just cracked, lost it for a moment. Some people are like time bombs just waiting to go off. That's the first theory I had until I saw the coroner's report. Each knife entry cut cleanly into an artery, leading to the heart with perfect accuracy. Precision like that, I mean, the guy had a one in a million chance of doing that, even if he'd been a surgeon. Shoot, you're likely to hurt someone out there. You didn't stop your investigation there, did you? No, this case really intrigued me. What could have motivated him to do something like that? I mean, I checked out piles of leads and, and discovered almost by accident that this wasn't the first. There had been other killings with the same profile. You mean where the killer had the same bizarre M.O. and stuck around afterwards? Exactly. Three weeks earlier, on the other side of town, another stabbing victim in the middle of the street, no motive. Then I discovered a third case, two months prior to that, then another and another, and always the same M.O. And in all these cases, the perp was arrested? Nope. Either they committed suicide before we got there, or else they went nuts. But each time, the stabbing was identical. They all cut the arteries leading to the heart very precisely. Then they carved a snake on their own forearms. And your investigation into the supermarket tunnel. Did it lead anywhere? You should drop this one, Detective. This is not just a murder case. There's something very odd going on behind the scenes. Looks like I'll be starting a new file. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!